Hello, I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister in charge of social innovation. I'm really happy to be here virtually to share with you some thoughts on the Vibes Day. Um, there's a saying uh, that I wrote a few years ago that goes like this. I would like to know you by your values, not by your types, your classes, or roles. Indeed, my value uh, is very consistent because my value is a meta value. I would like to build common values out of different positions. Let me quote uh, some words that I read when I was a maybe five years old. It goes like this. 30 spokes meet in the hub. Where the wheel isn't is where it's useful. Hollowed out, clay makes a pot. Where the pot's not is where it's useful. Cut doors and windows to make a room. Where the room isn't, there is room for you. So the profit of what is, is in the use of what isn't. And this is from Dao De Xing, the uh, 11th chapter. It's called The Uses of Not. Simply put, that my office, the public digital innovation space, is called a space precisely because everybody with various different positions can go and visit me in the space. The space physically is in here in the administration building and also in the social innovation lab, which is at the heart of Taipei. It is a park. We tore down all the walls. Everybody can just walk in from the street, see very transparently how I'm working, and even have 40 minutes of my time every Wednesday, as long as they agree that everything is on the record, like this video, or as a public transcript. And this makes sure that even though we have very different positions, people visit me one after another, gradually build a common value around sustainability, around making sure that we live the prosperity of this generation without causing any sacrifices to the future generations. And so people working on economy, on environment, on the society, gradually discover that if you think in the long run, all our values coalesce into a shared value of humanity. So I discovered that if I become a space, I become a channel that catalyzes this kind of meta value building, then I don't have to hold a specific side. Rather, I can take all the sides. And so this principle of taking all the sides is what I have lived by ever since I was maybe four or five years old. Now, of course, nowadays, during the pandemic, during the coronavirus, our values are united on the same time scale. Whereas before, when I worked on climate change, on infodemic, on various other uh, cross-jurisdictional issues, Every jurisdiction, think of it as a different emergency, different priority. If you're in a larger island, like the Taiwan island, then climate change affects maybe two generations down the line. But if you're on a smaller Pacific island, then it affects the next generation. On a small island, it affects the here and now. And because of that, even though people may have shared values, the time scale is different. And it's harder to build an intergenerational and um, intercontinental solidarity using existing techniques. But the pandemic offers a opportunity because every epicenter is either two months before or two months after each epicenter. Everything that we share, what we call the Taiwan model of no lockdowns and no takedowns on the pandemic and the infodemic strengthens liberal democracies and it makes sure that during the pandemic the social sector, that is to say the civil society, can hold joint data controllership, they can demand account of our daily press conference, they can see where the nearby pharmacies mask stock levels are and build the tools that are not just civic technologists' own hobbies, but actually powers more than 10 million active users in Taiwan, making the civic technologists also civil engineers of this age. So this tells us that the digital can make abundance out of scarcity, to make um, republic out of zero-sum games, what we say in Mandarin, 从零和到共和, that is the contribution of the digital. And so as the digital minister in charge of social innovation, uh, my way of working with, not for, the government, and working with, not for, the people, 
make sure that I mean in this Lagrange point between the movements on one side and the governments on the other, making sure that they can see each other eye to eye and again build common shared values out of their different social positions. So I would suggest you that whenever there is a controversy, whenever there is tension among different sides, you can try to take all the sides. And if you cannot take one of the sides, that's perhaps because you do not have the same lived in experience. So, for example, in my mind, I do not consider half of the population as different from what I am because I've went through two puberties. In the same vein, if you feel that you cannot advocate for a particular side in a debate, maybe you need to live with them a little bit, doing an ethnographic hanging out with that community until you can also argue from their side. And then you will discover that all of us are actually like reincarnations of each other, that we all advocate for the same value if you think in a long enough term. Thinking into the future, protecting the future for seven generations, that is the true meaning of sustainability and that is the core value that I would like to share with you.